Okay, so blanching is just two minutes and you need to be ready with a bowl of ice water to submerge to stop the cooking. And then we can turn off the pan. You wanna make sure that the asparagus really does, is really in the water, so work in batches. This was a tiny batch that we were doing, so we could do it in this um, shallow pan, but we also have a Dutch oven ready if we wanted to do, if we wanted to do more of it. With the rest of this, because I'm not going to use it for a few days, I can just dampen a little bit of paper towel. And then just roll it in there. And then as long as the, as long as the bags seem to not um, have a lot of soil in them or um, any residue from vegetables, you can, re you can use them again. So we try to um, use, if we're using plastic especially, we try to use it over and over again. So that's our, that's our asparagus. So we are ready. Um, we're ready in a couple of different ways. We're ready for one of the recipes that we're going to do. We're ready for a, um, to go in and we could clean more. We're ready for, um, this one or this one. and then this is ready to go. Um, the more you do today when you come home, the more, the easier life is going to be as you go along. Um, if you're investing in containers, it's always recommended that you um, buy containers that are square or oblong. Things that fit best in a square refrigerator are square containers. So that's just one of the items. We can put this directly into the refrigerator. Um, now 